In chapter three, early January, Tina, in early January, Tina has called up to Engelsplatz to come and help Aunt Laia, Stefan Marais' domestic help for a day or two. Stefan Marais' helper. And Tina comes back with a suitcase that is full of school clothes, underwear, and sports wear. So she's got some clothes now. And Poet is moody and feels that Tina colludes with the whites, the boor people. So his feelings are hurt a lot more now because Stefan's beret is, is providing for Tina now. And Tina tries to explain to him that she doesn't want to become a domestic help or a farm worker. She wants something different for her life. And on the first day of the new school year, Mrs. Kutsia takes Tina and her mother Letty, Ma Letty, to the school in town to enroll. And when Tina is left alone, she feels nervous because everything is new to her now. And she asks for all her textbooks to be in Afrikaans, and although the mathematical terms are difficult in Afrikaans at first, she is convinced that her decision to study in Afrikaans is the right one. The other option would be to study in English. Now, life at school and at the boarding school, it comes with many new experiences. And the first night the grade aides go through an initiation process, Atina discovers that her determination and willpower are a lot stronger than she, she thought. Uh, initiation is a really big thing at uh, at boarding school. Sometimes it ends absolutely tragically. People do wild things. Lives are lost. Um, people are bullied. People become a bit scarred. But yeah, it's uh, ingrained into South Afrikaans uh, culture, South African uh, boarding school culture. Now, the food at the boarding school is more and better than her meals at home. She's eating well now. And she enjoys her classes, but the arts teacher, Miss Dale, compliments Tina on her drawings. Uh, and the arts teacher, Miss Dale, compliments her. So Tina is slowly but surely building confidence. She realizes she's got a lot of determination, a lot of willpower, and she's actually quite talented too. Now the next day, Tina is called to the principal's office where a policeman asks her about the last time she had seen Jacob, Jakob. It was actually during November of the previous year at a prayer meeting in church. And Jakob, Jacob, suffered an epileptic foot and the woman of the soup kitchen helped him. And later when they waited for Mr. Kutsia to come and pick them up uh, back to the farm, Jacob walked past her and said something to her that she couldn't understand. And that night, Tina dreams again of Jacob and she sees clearly his terribly burned face. Okay, in the first chapter in this summary, uh, they didn't describe him all that well. He was described as a tramp. Okay, so Jacob is going through a lot right now. His face has been terribly burned. Um, he just had an epileptic fit. Things aren't looking too good for him. Okay, so that's chapter three.